Hey guys and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you all of my September favorites and disappointments. I had several of each this month so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. So this first favorite is something that I ordered off of shophush.com when I ordered those Modern Renaissance dupe palettes as well. And really the only reason I went to that site was in preparation for that dupe video but then I saw this product and it caught my eye and I had to buy it because it reminded me a lot of a lot of higher end products and I just thought the packaging was beautiful. So enough talk. The product is this rose highlighter palette. So this is also made by the company Bad Habit, which made one of the dupes that I talked about in my Modern Renaissance dupe off video. First of all, the packaging is so beautiful. I don't know if it's going to come across on camera as beautiful as it is in person, but it has like this embossed shimmery pink logo on it and then like an ombre effect with pink to white. And then on the back you can see the different shades and ingredients and things like that. But the main part of the palette that I love is what's inside. So I don't know about you guys, but the first thing I think of when I open this palette is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits. And let me know if you guys want to see a comparison between that palette. I have the Sun Kissed palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this one. But the shades in here are absolutely, absolutely beautiful. They're incredibly pigmented. You get so many shades. You get six different highlighters in here. And this whole palette is $10. But what I will say about this is when I compare it to, for example, the glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills or my Flower Beauty strobing palette. This definitely has a little bit of a chunkier formula and it's a little bit more glittery but it still looks beautiful. It's the highlighter I'm wearing right now and I think it looks stunning especially for six shades for $10. I mean you can't beat that and the packaging looks like it costs a lot more than that. Okay so now on to a product I have not been loving so much and it is also a highlighter. This is the Wet n Wild Midnight Moon highlighter that came out with their limited edition fall set. I hate putting any sort of a Wet n Wild highlighter in a disappointment section of any video. You guys know I am the biggest advocate of Wet n Wild highlighters and Wet n Wild in general. They have such amazing quality and they've kept their prices extremely low which I really really appreciate. But this highlighter was a disappointment at least for me for a couple of reasons. First of all I feel like the formula on this doesn't feel as creamy. It looks a little bit more chunky than a lot of their previous highlighters like the gold bar that came in very similar packaging packaging to this one from last year's limited edition. I believe it was the holiday set. That one feels so buttery. It feels like all of their other amazing highlighters. This one feels a little bit more chunky and powdery in my opinion, but it's still very pigmented. It still does the job. The main issue that I have is the color of it. And I say that knowing that they've come out with so many different highlighters and they're going to run out of colors to come out with, so they've got to experiment a little bit. So I understand that and I go into this understanding that and I appreciate the fact that they've kind of strayed and tried something totally different different. But this kind of icy tone really really leans green when you apply it to the face and I just don't feel like that's a flattering shade for anyone really. When I think of a mermaid I think of like blues and purples and fun shades like that. This green shade honestly just makes me think of being seasick because when you apply it to the face it honestly it makes you look a little bit sickly because it's like a pale icy green and I just don't find that it's flattering. It's not my cup of tea and I was disappointed by their shade selection here. Alright, this next favorite is not going to surprise anyone. I kind of wanted to keep going on the highlighter train for a minute, just finish all the highlighters that I wanted to talk about, good and bad. And as you guys know, Walmart recently launched a makeup line called Found, and I picked up a bunch of their stuff, tested it all out, and by far my favorite product that I tried from them, and something that's become one of my very favorite liquid highlighters, are their found radiant illuminating drops. It reminds me a lot of like the cover FX drops, their illuminating drops, but it's a little bit less intense than that. And I personally like that about it because I've been using this on my kind of no makeup makeup days. It just adds the most natural glow ever to your skin and I love that about it, that you can use it in that way. Or if you wanna have a more intense highlight like what I did today, I applied these and then I applied the highlighter, the powder highlighter over it. So you can layer it and use this as a base for a super super in your face highlight or for the everyday highlight for those of you that don't want to go to work or to school every single day with a blinding highlight and you just kind of want to look like you're glowing, this is the perfect product for that. I have mine in the shade Sun Kissed, which leans more golden and I feel like this looks good on skin tones like mine and deeper skin tones. They have another shade, I don't know the name of it, but it leans more pink and I feel like if you have a lighter skin tone than me, if you're very fair, I would go that direction because it's lighter and it leans cool tone, which really works, especially if you're fair with cool undertones, but I have been absolutely loving this. Okay, and then this next 
product I want to go ahead and get out of the way because it's another highlighting related type of product and I didn't realize how many of those I had in this favorites video but I guess I found a lot but this is another favorite so it's something I have been loving and is this new elf tapered highlighting brush I love this love this love this for kind of an all-over dusting of highlight this is what I use to apply my highlight today and it just blends it out beautifully it prevents you from getting just a streak of highlight and really blends and distributes it on the face not to mention it's a beautiful looking brush so if you like a soft subtle highlight I would say this is your brush it does an amazing job of applying it if you like a more intense highlight this is one of my favorite highlighting brushes as well from elf this is just their small tapered brush and as you can see the bristles are much more densely packed this will pack on the highlighter for that really intense highlight whereas this is just gonna dust it on your cheekbones beautifully so both are great highlighting brushes this has been a favorite for me this month and I just haven't been using anything else to apply my highlight okay so now switching gears to another disappointing product of the month I love a good red lipstick and with the holidays coming up winter coming up and I know a lot of you are gonna be like holidays are forever away winter is forever away but I start counting down to Christmas like the day after Christmas so in my mind we're getting close so I love finding a good red lipstick and I saw this one in Ulta and I thought that looks like a perfect red lipstick and I have been testing it over this past month and it is the Catrice Cosmetics Velvet Matte Lip Cream this is in the shade Red Evolution, which is a cute name but the problem I had with this is that they just don't last at all on the lips this lasted like a regular lipstick but faded like a bad liquid lipstick so I put this on and then I went and ate lunch like an hour later and when I looked in the mirror after that there was just like spots of red all over my lips and it just looked like a hot mess and especially when you're wearing a red liquid lipstick you need it to fade nicely. You need it to fade gracefully because it's not like a nude lipstick that's not going to be super noticeable when it gets patchy. This screams like, hello, I'm patchy, if you let it go patchy. And unfortunately, this formula did that to me and the staying power just wasn't there. So I was really disappointed with this, but I'll keep you guys posted on other red lipsticks that I find perfect for the holidays because I am on the hunt. Okay, another favorite of the month, something that I discovered in a video with you guys actually, was this J-Cat Shine Your Day Shimmery Powder. This is so intense, so pigmented, and it goes on super easily. Like I said in my initial impression of this I don't love the packaging that there's no sifter you kind of just have to dip your brush straight in there but other than that this is a fantastic product and it's only three dollars I feel like this easily easily rivals pigments triple quadruple the cost of it like MAC pigments and it's three dollars like I can't even get over that I want to go buy every single shade of this because it just blew me away when I first applied it and there was a little bit of fallout but other than that it applied perfectly so I can only imagine if you were to give this a base how perfectly it would perform so I highly highly recommend this it definitely stood out to me this month okay so my next disappointing product this is my last disappointing product so it'll be all positive from here are these Eyler Naturals lashes so these are in the style 20 and they look really really natural and beautiful in the packaging but when I applied it onto my eyes it almost looked too natural I feel like these look like my lashes do before I put on mascara so with mascara on and these there was a very noticeable difference between these really fluttery thin lashes and my kind of thicker more voluminous darker lashes so I just wouldn't recommend this especially to those of you with darker skin thicker hair they look extremely unnatural which is ironic because they're called natural and then the last couple products I want to share with you guys are both skincare products one I've spoken about before in my drugstore skincare video and it is the ordinary 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil I told you guys that I've been using this as a part of my skincare routine and loving it but I kind of slacked off over the last month or so I was just getting lazy and not applying this at night and I have to tell you guys I saw a difference it wasn't immediate but usually this time of year I start to get some dry patches on my oily skin and when I stopped using this I really noticed them a lot more and then I reinstated it into my skincare routine this month and I'm so glad that I did not only does it help with all of the dry patches on my face it is such a lightweight oil that it doesn't make my skin more oily it makes it less oily if anything because it's super hydrated and I've never had a problem with this breaking me out and I know for those of you with acne prone skin that's your biggest fear with oils but I have to tell you guys rosehip seed oil is the way to go and I have fallen back in love with this and then this last product is something that I repurchased because I ran out of my other moisturizer and I have fallen back in love with it and it is the Neutrogena Hydro 
Moisture Boost Water Gel with Hyaluronic Acid. This is oil-free, non-comedogenic. It does have a slight fragrance to it, but my skin has never felt irritated by it whatsoever. I love this because it is so moisturizing, but it's a gel-based formula, so it doesn't feel greasy. It soaks right up into the skin, but it's not like one of those that soaks right up into the skin and then you just feel like your face is still dry. It soaks right up into the skin, but you feel so hydrated. It really does feel like your whole face just chugged a huge glass of water, and I love that feeling. I've been using it at night paired with this, and the combination is just fantastic. So I would 100% recommend this to those of you looking for a very hydrating yet lightweight moisturizer. And that is everything. Those are all of my favorites and disappointments for the month of September. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorites and your disappointments have been this month. I would love to know. And don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and the subscribe button if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.